very different there. Tried. It's a matter of time. I tried. I thought I might have something going on there, but it just wasn't good. You don't have yeah. enough. You only have one piece. Nah, I gave up too many attack pieces again. Yeah. My usual strategy. Plus, at any, you know, I've got, I've got this over here. Well, I've just got material. When yes. you gave me your roof, you didn't get anything back. Nah, you could have got my knight at least, but it still gives me a big advantage yeah. with two roofs. The knife, the queen fort gave me uh, at least a hope of a chance. Yeah. But yeah. It just, yeah, it wasn't enough. Uh, well, I had, I had this just sitting there. Oh, the, yeah. The, the, you know. the knight had him in, you know, kind of in, as a contingency plan. But then I needed my knight. So I just thought, you know, that was three moves. It would have been hard for you to gain three beats. So well, I wasn't too worried. Well, your knight was here. Yeah. Right. But, but if I go here, yeah. And what do you do? I have. Oh, I see what you're saying. Is this the exact same position of the board? I think what I was trying to do is I was trying to move this so I can move my knight. Yeah. And get him to play over here, but. But as soon, as, you, from as, soon as you move your pieces over here, then this guy's free. Of course. Yeah. So I need to do it in two moves. So whatever I need to do, I need to like force pressure on the king. It was, it right? was too slow. Yes. Yeah. Well, I needed, I needed like a bishop over here. Something, something to do something over there. Another way to threaten the king. It just wasn't there. Yeah, it's just in a far park, yeah. Nah, that's cool. I, asked, I was in that game longer than I thought I should have been, so that's okay. So they want us to put the pieces back? I can do it. I guess we don't like we like we brought it. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for Oh, this is fun. Yeah. This is fun. We'll keep doing it. It's good stuff. Um brain. I'm going. Until the 13th, but we can play. That's a Tuesday. We can play on the 17th. So when do you leave? I leave. I leave Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. So we can play on the 17th, which is Friday. And that's also the day that.
16th is Thursday, right? June. June 16th is a Friday. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and that's actually the night that there will be a lecture at the observatory. Do you want to come back? Well, I'd rather play chess. Okay. Even if I don't, find even if I don't make the observatory that time, I can do another time. I'll find somebody to do that. These go in there too, huh? Yeah. Spare pleats? Yeah. Oh, here's that's all I needed. Best strategy guide ever. <laughs> See, pretty it's, small. It's pretty not small. A hell of a lot of strategy for a chest. It's pretty small. Overall principles. This is beginner. This is beginner. Never having never played just before, read this book. Become a chess sorcerer. Oh wow. Keywords. I used to call it being an advanced player. <laughs> well, they're trying to appeal to the Dungeons and Dragons crowd, right? Yeah, I guess. Or the Harry Potter crowd. Yeah, it's all it's all basic stuff. Yeah, I mean people where they are. You read the story of the Turk? Tell me. It's a machine that toured Europe. It was a machine that toured Europe. It was a guy with a turban and a chessboard. And he would beat the strongest players in Europe. He toured around and called him the Turk. Nobody thought of it. How does he do that? How does this machine know what pieces to move? Now, I don't know. If he had a human handler that he would whisper to, I don't know. I don't think he actually moved the pieces. But he fooled them. You know, people couldn't figure it out. He kept winning. And there was a human inside. First thing I thought of, but you know. Yeah, well. I've seen a lot of magic shows. And what year is that? I think it was in the 18, yeah. 1700s, 1800s. You ever hear of, um, oh shoot, what's the guy's name? There's a guy that supposedly traveled the courts of Europe and he was supposedly very long lived, um, longer than a human lifespan, two, three hundred years, knew things, played chess, all kinds of other stuff. He was supposed to be very intelligent. Um, he was spotted him years later and said he hadn't aged. It's kind of nonsense. And it's, uh, you know, Obviously, hucksters or some kind. Yeah. But uh, Saint Germain, Saint Germain, Saint Germain in English. But uh, you know, supposedly he like did something that caused the uh, the palace re revolution that put uh, uh, um, Catherine the Great on the throne. And, uh, you know, it's like one of these. Uh, Fairy yeah, tale. it shows up in different places. Fairy tale stories. Of, By himself, yeah. does incredible things, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's good. It's good. Uh, it's something to amuse people in the you know, royal Well, the world. lesson is how easily fooled people are because they want to believe. Sure. Don't we want to believe in immortality? We want to face the fact that we're mortal. Of course we want to believe in impossible. There are a lot of people trying. I don't know. What if I want to live to 120? All my friends would be gone. Yeah. The guy that I was um, talking to yesterday said as much. He's going to be 90. They're on a big 
the celebration. I said, all his friends are coming. All his contemporary friends. Yeah, all his friends. Yeah. 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 But see, that's why, I, that's, why, that's why it's important. Like, I'm hanging out with these guys on um, and girls on uh, Tuesday. I'm the oldest guy in the room, usually. Yeah. You know? These people are in their 30s at best. Most of them in their 20s. You know? You make friends with people all the You mean familiar faces? No. Here. Oh, like here. Board games. Board games. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's so close to the well, young. Have, you know, well, through Keep hair of the dog, yeah. most, of, most of the people there are younger than me. Yeah. I don't know who's, who's older than me anymore. Now I don't even know. I mean, like, I don't even know. I think I'm the oldest one in here of the dog. You mean in the, the virtual group? Yeah. No. You mean even in the, the home group, too? Yeah. Really? Yep. Well, how old was Ralph when he passed? Ralph was in his 80s, I think. What about the bartender? Um, the guy who used to be the bartender. Um, he's, real, um, he's real funny, but he's real, like, um, Sarcastic, um, swears a lot, completely bald, no glasses. Um, he would dog. always sit at the main table. Yeah, he would sit at the main table by the door mostly. You mean Bill Saran? Bill Saran. How old do you think Bill's? Oh, I don't know. I think Bill aged himself probably. <laughs> he looks old. He's bitter. I mean, he's always negative about stuff. I think he's funny. I think he tries to be funny. I don't know that he's actually bitter or if he's just trying to and be. He's got funny. such a sweet wife. He's I mean, playing that persona. It's such an odd couple. I think he's playing that persona. Carol is so. She's smart. Yeah. She's, you know, technical. She, she's on top of it. She's just, and she's a very, very nice lady. But when Bill, when Bill shares, he's very. Um, 